Good evening. I don't even quite know what to say about the weather today. When it's this kind of heat and you just almost have to stay indoors, um, I did not actually do that today. I did go outside in the heat and it was really, really hot, but this is the kind of weather we're in. This happens every summer, but today it was really something I thought. 99 was a record high. The heat index of 115, even 115 is really high to see on our heat index map, I think, for New Orleans, and to see it touch 117 around 4 p.m., I was just kind of blown away by that. North of the lake, we have mainly 90s at this point. 90s south of the lake, too. We're all in the 90s, no surprise there. Again, the hot pink map for the heat index showing those triple digits and way higher than 100 degrees for a lot of spots south of Lake Pontchartrain and on the North Shore, pretty hot there as well. I'm sure uh, you would agree if you are north of the lake or south of the lake. The high today of 99 was higher than the old record, which was set in 1980. Really hot stretch in that summer in 1980. And today we topped that. The average high 91, so we were well above that. And no surprise to have a heat index um, and heat advisory continuing not only until 8 p.m., but tomorrow too, starting as early as 10 a.m. all the way through sunset at 8 p.m. and the heat index of 112. I mean, we passed that today, so it could be around 112. It could easily be once again tomorrow near 115 or dare I say even a degree or two higher like we saw this afternoon. On radar, as expected, not a lot of activity at all. So very few cooling showers and anything that did manage to form kind of just fizzled really quickly, just like we're seeing with this downpour outside of Jean Lafitte. And also we do have a thunderstorm around Port Fouchon. So if you're around there, uh, be aware you will have this uh, storm in your area as we head toward about 530, 6 o'clock. I'm sure you can see it if you look off to the north. Another little small storm south of Port Sulphur. We have surface high pressure just off to the southwest, so actually our winds are coming from the northwest, but not really helping out all that much today. It's still humid and it's still just incredibly hot with a lack almost completely in some parts of the day of cloud cover or rain for many areas. Today temperatures and our heat index will eventually be going down and our rain chance will be staying slim. What to expect as we head through the next few days? When will the heat end? We have extreme heat coming tomorrow, maybe a couple of stray storms, and then we actually continue with a somewhat similar pattern, I think through probably Wednesday at least. I know that's not super fun to hear or talk about, but the same general idea will be there in the next few days. And then we may get some help finally late this coming work week possibly Thursday and Friday will have a more regular sort of 30 to 40 percent rain chance. But until then, we're going to have very slim chances of rain. So if you are under a downpour, it could help, but we just won't have a lot of those out there. Here's the upper level pattern showing the high kind of expanding to the east. And again, by the end of this week, it may open us up for a few of those scattered showers and storms and a little more cloud cover. But when we have the high just in control so much, that's that sinking air which warms as it compresses and moves downward and it makes it so hard for clouds and for rain to form. I looked up this afternoon and I saw just a few cirrus clouds almost looked like something we could see in the spring or maybe even winter, but uh, we were really lacking those cumulus clouds that can sometimes of course turn into rain and help to cool things off. Tonight, lows on the North Shore in the 70s, south of the lake about maybe 81. Our high or our low temperature rather was 82 this morning at the Kenner Airport and tomorrow very similar. So unfortunately, another day to take precautions if you have to be outside. If you start feeling a little bit weak, just kind of take a break, find some air conditioning if you can, stay hydrated and so forth. In the tropics, nothing really brewing right now. Here's low pressure way off now entering Canada, which was of course Tropical Storm Fay and another little low is out there just to the west of the area that did just get some tropical rains from Fay, but it is not a storm anymore, a tropical system. And our next name on the list would be Gonzalo. So we have made it through all uh, through the F storms uh, so far in the early to mid part of July. Our seven day forecast shows those low rain chances the next several days and a little uptick in the chance for rain by Thursday and Friday. Stay with us. We'll be right back.